Alright, what's good fellas? Welcome back to the channel. Now, I know you're all here because you want to be a part of the Green Lake Owls, but before you go down in the comment section and start spamming 7 foot tall, 400 pounds, 99 acceleration, 99 speed, I need y'all to just kick back for a second. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to give you guys the complete background story as to how this team came to be. This series is all about incorporating storyline in the back scene as well, so make sure you do stick around to the end of the video. Once you have watched the storyline, I will let you guys know how to be a part of the team, alright? So just chill on that for a second, enjoy the storyline, and I'll see you in a second. Zane Gresham alongside some of his teammates grew up in San Antonio. Watching the pioneers of Dreadnought's football create a dynasty he hopes to someday replicate. On a more personal level, Zane comes from a predominantly grade first home. His grandfather John Gresham still hosts lectures at Yale, the college which AJ graduated from. Football was never an option for AJ, but the talent landed him a late pick to a weak Dreadnought secondary. Initially a second string free safety and a fourth at strong, he quickly landed a starting spot after a two interception debut game when veteran starters went down with nagging injuries. But you're probably asking, how is this relevant to Zane? He's a coach, and coming from a dynasty comes similar age talent. Five star recruit TJ Levingston, who needs a top level college who breeds NFL talent when your father is the original San Antonio demigod. Tlev comfortably owns every NFL record including the impossible to break 350 plus rush game. 387 to be exact, that's if you want to brag. Set against a top 10 rush preventing Steelers defense, TJ has every god given talent his father had and will definitely lead a lousy offense. But how did a Hall of Fame NFL player and two 5 star athletes end up at a barely FCS school to begin with? The only DNA biological son to knowledge of legendary coach Banana Crow. You see, after 10 years of coaching and achieving everything he set out to initially do, he became a scout for the Dreadnoughts. Firstly, his eye for talent was unparalleled transforming the slugs from a bottom dweller to a top 25 team in two years, but more importantly being left with a son who was identical in looks. Banana Senior was usually pulled into false accusations like the Jefferson McIntyre scandal in the first couple seasons at Santa Cruz. Being a single father, however, Banana Senior shockingly walked away from the team he helped shape, taking the scouting job which allowed him to stay close to what he loved while also raising his son. After eventually retiring from professional sports, Crow Senior moved to the furthest possible thing, the biggest house in a small town of Oregon. Known for its die-hard, loyal FCS team, which Crow Senior was eventually lured into coaching, and that was after the town figured out who he really was. However, the success Crow Senior was known for producing didn't quite pan out in Green Lake. And after three seasons as coach, the year before Crow Jr. was expected to start as Green Lake star safety, Crow Sr. tragically passed away. However, the cause was unknown. Crow Sr.'s legacy will forever live in Crow Jr. and has vowed to carry on the name, one day hoping to be recognized on the same level as his father. Crow Jr. not having anyone left and no real role model, AJ Grisham happily adopted and moved to Green Lake. He was retired and the kids grew up together, so it made sense. t was soon to follow suit. After pulling out a competition halfway through the hour season in respects to Crow Senior, next year AJ took over as head coach and in a unanimous vote renamed the stadium to the Banana Crow Memorial. The rest, we will all be a witness to. So I don't want to let everybody down because obviously it's a very close thing. Some of you guys might not know how copyright laws work on YouTube. The actual logo itself costs hundreds and hundreds of dollars. And you guys know that the reason I did do that is so we could put it on merchandise as well. So once this series gets off the ground and heaps of people are behind it, I am going to release, you know, like, like the PC singlet. Going to release shirts, jumpers, singlets, everything for the Green Lake Owls. But more so to the point, I am going to be opening a Patreon account. First off, let me say that I never ever intended on making a Patreon. And as you guys also know, the Adpocalypse is complete AIDS. I am going to open it up to people who do want to help the cause. And I do appreciate everybody. Now, you can get on this team for free as well. So just stick around for that. But the way it's going to work is if you do want to support the channel and donate $2, I'm going to change my end screen overlay, which is the thing you see play at the end of the episode, and it's going to feature everybody's name that does decide to donate two plus dollars. For the $20 donation, you will have a 75 plus overall character. We can go through the stats together over like Twitter or Snapchat or something. We can go through it, and you won't be guaranteed a spot on the Green Lake Owls team. 
but I'm going to go after you. Now, say you do choose to be a wide receiver and we have 30 wide receivers on the team, chances are I'm probably not going to go after you. That'll probably be the only reason, but if you're in a position that we're not overly stacked at, then chances are I'm definitely going to try and pick you up as well. And for the almighty VIP $50 a month donation, you are going to be a 78 plus overall character. You will be featured in the Green Lake Owl storyline. And on top of that, for half an hour per month, you and I are going to sit down and do whatever the hell it is you want. Whether that means play any game you want, or you just want to kick back and talk for a half hour to an hour. It's, it doesn't bother me, but that's going to be the kind of extra, the icing on the cake for doing that $50 VIP treatment. Now, I do also understand for kids, you can't be donating $20 to $50. You know, kids don't. We're broke. We don't have dosh. So if we do get any Patreon people, you do know how they're going to be influencing the team. But for the kids out there, we're going to be doing five walk on people for free i will randomize it you will more than likely be a 70 overall max the good thing about that is it's going to be a lot easier for me to go after you but of course the only issue is if we have somebody better than you at a particular position then more than likely he's going to start but but it's just more to the notion that you will be on the squad you know if there's injuries and stuff like that you could get a start in your senior season you're probably going to be an 80 overall so you might get a start at a separate position but this will be the part where you drop down your name age position just as much detail as you want to go into about your player but keep in mind that you will be a 70 overall and come the official episode one i will reveal who made it i will show a video of me randomizing it and the people getting selected for the green lake owls now i really hope you guys can give a high this idea man it's been months in the making i've wanted to do this for so very long just for the pure reason that we own this team there's nobody out there that can say we can't do anything with this team because we do actually legitimately have a license and own the green lake owls so that being said fellas that's going to wrap up the video i hope you guys did enjoy if you are high for the green lake owls don't forget to smack a like on the video if you are new don't forget to sub and drop everything down in the comment section below and your boy will get down there that being said i'm gonna catch you back next time much love peace tell me pretty lies look me in the face tell me that you love me even if it's fake cause i don't fucking care Now don't I? I don't know where you've been. You're slurring all your words. Now make